Hey YouTube, Wheelchair21, and this is Doyle's DVDs for Christmas Day. Today we're reviewing I'm Dreaming of a White Ranger. And I got with me Deluxe. Hey. And Darkon. Who is outside right now looking at the eclipse. We don't know why, but he's looking at the eclipse, okay? So you know this is taped Tuesday morning. Okay? Okay. Now, I'm Dreaming of a White Ranger was the season three and the second ever, I think, Christmas special for Power Rangers. Uh, I'm Dreaming of a White Ranger uh, originally was going to be, re was released, uh, and it came with a Christmas ornament. By the time I finally got the video, it did not come with a Christmas ornament, and it takes place in the late, thir in the early 30 episodes, where it should take place somewhere in between 20 and 23. The key thing is, um... Oh, hey, look, Darkon came back, but he can wait, because we're doing the video review. Hey. Shut up! Anyway, in the whole sense of the of the video, Lord Zed tries to take over the North Pole and make Santa make these hypno-dreidels that can make you lose your fucking mind and believe in Lord Zed. So, Lord Zed and his Judaism, evil Judaism. Now, I'm not saying Judaism is evil. But Lord Zed's version of it is. Brings down his evil Judaism on the North Pole and tries to make them make dreidels to conquer the world. The Power Rangers then find out they have to go and save the North Pole from Rito and the Tangas. But because there's so much good magic, it ruins with Rito's powers and it ruins with the Morphin Grid. Meaning they have to do a bare knuckle brawl in snow with Rito. But Goldar joins them and just all hell breaks loose. They help save Santa, they help restore Christmas, and at the same time, Bulk and Skull are playing Good Samaritans down at the uh, Angel Grove Juice Center while they're helping out the kids and stuff and helping out Ernie. Um, practically, since this occurs after but filmed during the time Kimberly was still the Pink Ranger, they do pr promo Catherine in it, and uh, they have an actual special VHS exclusive opening where they combine season two's opening clips with them with their American them with, with their American made suit scenes when they would summon the uh, ninja swords and the ninja sword clips to be more um, I guess uh, last season esque kind of opening with them implanting clips of a majority of what the episode's all about and what's going on and a weird catchy title for I'm dreaming of a white ranger shown twice. In the actual um, series, the infamous Balkan Skull where they're getting the donuts at the Christmas party is kept in the openings, openings for the regular season. And the episodes are practically changed to the regular opening of that season, of season three, when it's aired on television. Um, so you have a special exclusive opening in that, and then a different opening in television. Um, there's no differences between TV and that except for the openings. That's the only thing I gotta say. And I believe the end credits. Because they're usually with blooper reels in the end credits. In the TV release. Um, the promos are practically anything from uh, the last season's D VHS releases because it promotes Lord Dead's Monster Heads. The actual release of Alpha's Magical Christmas. Rocky Just Wants to Have Fun. Goldar's Vice Versa. And some other one. And also a lot of other shit from Saban for the Power Rangers the movie. I and mean, also it has like the 8 inch talking figures. Um, no Zords. No powers. Kind of a shitty episode and an interesting episode because they had to fight without their powers. Um, so now since I'm done with this. Let's just have Darkon start because hey. He didn't decide to show up to the goddamn show on time. Hey, it's not my fault I wanted to see the Lunar Eclipse. Yeah, we, we, we mentioned that. Now, now, now talk. Okay, one thing. Huh, now that Santa found the identity of the Power Rangers, what the hell's gonna happen now? He's a good guy. I know, but still, even from good guys, they were supposed to hide it from. No, Santa's... Santa's like God, you can tell God shit. <laughs> like, that all you gotta say? Oh, and, um... Oh, yeah. Why? Does... Did Lord said hate Christmas so much that... He tried to destroy it with another religion, I guess? No, 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 no. The joke is he was trying to take take over the world by using Santa's 
ways of sending out Christmas toys to everybody, even adults and that, by giving them evil hypno things that look like dreidels. Actually, to no, they them. just said children only that time. Eh, it would still make the parents. Look at Ivan Ooze. He gives them the freaking ooze and the parents touched it and they turned all zombie like. Huh. It's just a chain reaction. Give it to the stupid and the stupid give it to the stupid or. Huh. Kind of like what we do with you. Hey. Lux, what do you got to say on this? Mm. Um, wasn't the the plot like uh, of Lord Zed uh, using those Drago things, like with the uh, mind control wave things? Wasn't this already an episode, like uh, Zed waves? I think it was called. Just instead of Drago, he was using TV or something. Yeah, yeah, that was also used once before. I think it was lights, cameras, action or something. He, yeah. he he's tried mind manipulation a couple of times. Zed has. Um. I, I don't really remember season two clearly enough for most of its episodes, um, because I was still young, and I don't remember all of season three as much as I remember season one, because I've rewatched season one, I think, several freaking times on the internet. Um, I don't, I don't know, man. Like, I, I know that this is the episode of the infamous Jason David Frank pantsing himself <laughs> under the mistletoe. Just look that up on YouTube, you'll figure it out. It was in an interview he had with, like, nopinkspandex.com or whatever. But I regret, I, I, whatever, you know, I go back to the subject. Um, yeah. The joke is Lord's a J- Jewish, he used dreidels this time. I guess they just wanted to keep in the spirit of the holiday since they never talk about Kwanzaa or Judaism or whatever until Zio. Um, so, I don't know. Do you guys have anything against this episode except that the fact there's no freaking powers? I think the the, the no powers thing was on the part of uh, just because they were running out of money and they were just like, let's not pour money into this stupid Christmas special. And um, the whole... I don't, I don't remember seeing the special on TV because uh, on Fox Kids or whatever because it was like... I remember seeing the promo for it, but then I missed it, and then they never re-aired it again after that. At least I don't think they did. Ironically, once Disney took it over, the Morning Jet X, they always showed it on the Morning Jet X before they started playing the, like, winter holiday specials during the daytime on Christmas Eve. They'd always play this one in Gotan, the Stormbringer episode, back-to-back with one another. Or they'd play the stupid uh, Zio's uh, No Business, like... There's no nose business like snow business or uh this but they never would play this stupid uh uh Zio episode where it's the one where all the religions are hating on each other because Sprocket did something stupid to them. <laughs> that one was a ridiculous episode. Just watch Tis the season, come back and tell me how bad you want to punch yourself in the face. <laughs> yeah, that was a pretty bad episode. That was a bad episode. Um, ironically, out of all the Christmas specials they've made, this is probably the best one. Uh, was, there wasn't any other Christmas specials, right? For Power Rangers whatsoever. Right? Uh, I don't think, uh, after that. No, I don't think so. Like, there were no Christmas specials, but they at least had one that dealt with wintertime, I believe. Like, like, they either have a monster that creates winter storms, or they at least have, like, a couple of episodes in, like, snow. Like, I know Mystic Force didn't have any snow scenes at all. SPD, I think, had, like, one snow scene. Dino Thunder had the one snow scene because they were using the actual, like, episodes leading into the finale of, uh, Abba Ranger. I like that episode when they fought for G or whatever her name was. Um. Also, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, Dino Thunder, they reused the episode of, uh, the, uh, Christmas villain, Rudolph. When, uh, when Connor had to fight him in the dream world. So technically, that is technically considered a Christmas episode, because they took the Christmas episode from Japan and just inserted it into there. Um, so, I mean, out of Christmas villains, we've only had a few that were actually inserted, but not represented as a Christmas special, I believe, if I can recall. So, I mean... There's not that many specials in the U.S., I believe. We've never had actual specials since then. Um, I'm kind of hoping Saban maybe makes a special, a holiday special that actually is canon with the series. 
eventually somewhere down the road. I mean... Maybe for Samurai? Samurai would work out good because... Ironically, they could probably bring Sam... They could probably bring Winter World over for that. No, the Winter World was Gawanger. Oh. And they fucked that up by making a beat bomb... By using the bombs on Tokyo Tower. Okay, then the yeah, Winter World then. That was odd. That was a cool fight scene, though, in Japan. They ruined it slightly, in a sense. When Go On, when Go on Red was in the Santa Claus outfit fighting, uh, Koritsky. Mm-hmm. Uh. Also, the Bo Kenger's Christmas special was pretty alright. It was pretty good. It was pretty funny, because they are all pissed off when What's-His-Face destroyed the Christmas cake. Mm-hmm. I remember that. That was, like, the one episode we're tripping the pizza in Time Force. Um... What was that one other special? I'm trying to think of it. It was, uh... Yeah, Power Rangers Samurai. Their winter, their Christmas, was right around when they defeated Akamaru, no? So, I mean, ironically, if they would have been able to start this February and be able to carry it on, like, a whole year's worth, like, uh, Shinkendra could, I could actually see them, uh, being able to use the Christmas tree scene, or, like, just something similar to the Christmas tree in the New Year's Eve, New Year's Res- Resolution episode. Uh, I would enjoy that. I would like to see at least more winter fight scenes. I like, like I like when Megazord battles are either in the night or in cli- in different climates, like rain or snow. Uh, those are usually great battles because it's usually used against the Zords. Usually, it's against the Zords and it works not with them and against them for a short period of time. So I enjoy that. I don't know what you guys enjoy. Uh, tell us your opinions, I guess, and. Uh, Anyone have any other last words? Uh, happy birthday, Samuel L. Jackson. Is his birthday? Yeah, it is. You mean today? Yeah. Not Christmas. Oh, my bad. We're we're filming this for Christmas. But I already <laughs> but I already said we filmed it we filmed it on Tuesday, but this is for Christmas. Well, in that case, happy birthday, Jesus. <laughs> uh. Now I'm gonna get drunk and run into something like Peter did. Yeah. I don't even believe in Jeebus. And I said Jeebus. Jeebus. Any words, Darkon? Any words? Um, I'm dreaming of a Green Ranger, maybe? Do you want to say it, Deluxe, or should I? Uh... I don't know. What do you want me to say? Well, whatever. Epic fail. Bye!